Hey all my glue sticks and glue chicks, I'm back with another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And this time I'm going against Arthur. I'm probably have a video with me going against him in probably like a multi-battle with Exponential Awesome. But this time we're doing a 6v6 singles, and this is gonna be real fun. I really enjoyed this battle because I played it really, really, really defensively, I would say. So he's gonna start off with the age slash. I start off with my digger speed. And I go right for the Earthquake. I am not scared at all because everyone knows Age Slash cannot even touch the Digger's Feet. I think he was going for Sacred Sword, but he was unable to survive. Oh well. So now he's going to send out his Kangaskhan. I was like, he's instantly going to go for the Fake Out, the Parental Bond. Going to completely and utterly annihilate Digger's V with the Parental Bond. But I'm not letting that happen. He cannot touch a Trevenant. Trevenant is the perfect check to a Kangaskhan. I don't think Kangaskhan has any moves that can really hit a Trevenant. Oh, I know this one doesn't have any moves that can hit a Trevenant, except for Sucker Punch. But, going for the will OS, I have Leech Seed, so if I need to uh, stall out a Kangaskhan, I can do it. So I'm going to go for the Burn and lower this Kangaskhan's attack, because everyone knows that is the biggest weakness to a Kangaskhan, is lowering its attack with a Burn. Sure, they can run Facade, but if it ran a Facade, it still wouldn't be able to hit my Trevenant. He's gonna send out his Ditto, and he's gonna copy my Trevenant. And I was like, that's not cool. That is not cool at all. Because I'm going right for the Leech, or uh, Horn Leech. And I was expecting him to switch on to something else that could easily take a Horn Leech. And I wasn't too worried about taking a uh, Sucker Punch from a Kangaskhan like that. So I was just trying to get some help back. I'm gonna um, try to trick him into um, Phantom Forcing, which I easily get. So now he's giving me a free switch in with my digger speed, which is going to be amazing when I bring it in. Because I'm kind of just doing like a mind game with him right now. I'm playing it really close. I don't want any of his Pokemon to deal damage to my Pokemon, especially when my Trevenant has the burn on it right now. So he's going to go for a Horn Leech, which is going to be pretty obvious. So I think I'm going to switch back to Trevenant to eat it up a little bit and kind of let me reset the playing field right now because I'm very very worried that he is going to deal a massive amount of damage with one leech against Digger Speed and take out Digger Speed and I don't know if I need Digger Speed later you never know so I'm down to the amount of health where I can use my Citrus Berry getting back up but I have the best ability on this thing and it is Harvest it just keeps on giving me berries but he went for the Leech Seed Forgot I was grass, or he suspected that I was gonna switch, and I just go for the burn with the Will O Wisp, which is gonna be pretty sweet for me because now I have a harvest, he doesn't. I can keep redoing these citrus berries over and over and over again. And he found out that he needs to stop me from doing that with a Delphox. So I wasn't really scared that um, Ditto was gonna do anything to me. But this Delphox can easily take away my Citrus Berry and shut down my Trevenant. And that's very, very, very bad. Because if I keep harvesting these things and I have a Citrus Berry on me, Trevenant's going to lose a Citrus Berry. And that's a Fire-type. And I don't want to deal with a Fire-type right now. So I'm going to switch out and go right to Sylveon. Sylveon specially defensive, so I'm pretty sure Sylveon will be able to take a Fire Attack and or any other type attack from a Delphox. As you see, they go for Hidden Power, and it looks like it was Hidden Power Dark, because why would you want to use a Hidden Power that's not very effective on a fairy, but super effective on a ghost, and that'd be Dark type. But they take my life form, and I was like, that's fine, I didn't want that item anyway. I'm perfectly content with you having that. So this Arthur's gonna send out the Monk, uh, Muck, Monk, <laughs> send out the Muck, and I'm going to uh, panic a little bit. As you all seen in my video before, uh, earlier against Pika Girl, Muck is a very, very big threat. But this time, I have a lot of Pokemon that are able to take down a Muck, like Lady Glue. Especially Lady Glue. I can just keep getting more power, so this Muck is going to be completely and utterly useless when it's using Acid Armor. Yeah, you can keep raising your defenses sharply. I'm not really worried about that. I'll just keep raising my attack with Sword Stance. You can't hit me with Gunk Shot. You can't take me down with Pain Split. You can't really do much to me, Muck. I'm not really worried. I think you I think you still have more HP than my Lady Glue. So I'd still stay at a decent level of uh, HP while I can just set up Sword Stance on you. And he's gonna keep on using Essen Armor, and I was like, okay, 
keep doing that. I'm gonna keep sword dancing. I'm gonna keep it going. Lady Glue is unstoppable. Everyone should know this by now. You can't stop this for a while, sweet. It's, it's, it's gonna happen. Everything's gonna just destroy worlds. But he uses Memento, and I was like, what? What does that do? And it lowered my attack partially. And I was very, very upset. I was like, okay, does that, that still mean I'm a plus one Mega Mawile? And that's still pretty threatening. I don't care. I'm gonna send out the Delphox, Fox. I was like, you're a Psychic type, and I'm gonna just Sucker Punch you. Get the KO. Was not worried at all. Now the Delphox Fox is down. Don't have to worry about anything trying to take any items out of me. He's gonna turn into uh, his Slave 3 into his my plus one in a while, but he's burned, so I'm not really worried. His attack is halved. So I'm just gonna go right for the Iron Head. I'm faster. I get the instant knockout. I am not worried anymore. My Trevenant can come in and easily take down this Kangaskhan because I don't want to risk getting hit by a fake out and have this thing keep on like sucker punching me and all that. We'll have like a sucker punch battle. I'm just gonna easily play this really, really close to the chest. Kind of take the brick break. I was really worried. I was like, why was he using brick break? I'm surprised he didn't go for a fake out. But I'm okay with that because he is burned. I'm not. But I make the mistake. I meant to hit Leech Seed. I hit Horn Leech. I take that like a champ. But if I didn't have the Citrus Bear, I would have lost Trevenant right there. That was a very bad misplay on my part. And I am never going to make that mistake again. Because this time, I'm going to keep reading my moves. I just saw Leech in green, and I was like, oh, it has to be Leech Seed. But, uh, yeah, I gotta read a little bit closer. <laughs> but now he's gonna, um, switch out Kangaskhan, because Kangaskhan cannot, um, even touch my Trevenant. And my Harvest ability is gonna keep me up into, a, like, a decent amount of, like, health. But he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch, actually. I, I made the misplay, and I'm gonna go for the Leech. After this, he's gonna switch. Because he doesn't want to keep losing his Kangaskhan's HP to a Trevenant and keep giving me more HP so I don't have to take the burn damages terribly. And as you see, he literally can't do anything anyway because he has Sucker Punch, Brick Break, um, Fake Out. I don't know what his last move is. It could be Facade, but I'm not really sure. But. I went for the will wisp just in case he wanted to Sucker Punch to stay in, and it was great because he switched right into Braviary, which is a physical attacker, so I don't even have to worry about this thing. Even with Sheer Force, I lowered its attack. I'm pretty content with that. And my Citrus Berry gets used again when I get down to a decent amount of health. And yes, yet again, Harvest has been activated, which is crazy. Trevenant, why do you keep doing that? It's unfair for everyone. You gotta stop raising your HP. So now I'm gonna send out Lady Bird, uh, Lady Blue, to take a Brave Bird because, well, there's nothing to cheat. Oh my God! Look at that minimal amount of damage. Can't even touch me. I'm just gonna easily just go for the KO. Or am I? No. You're gonna use Fly and go up in the air, which is perfect because I'm gonna go for the Sword Stance and get to a plus two Mega Mawile. Now this is a threat that Braviary is unable to handle. You can't switch because you're in the air. You avoid the attack, go for the Iron Head because I'd rather take accuracy over power. KO this Braviary, get it out of here. There's nothing you can do. I am on fire. Actually, Kangaskhan's on fire because it's burned. And I'm gonna switch out because I know Kangaskhan's gonna go for a fake out and or a move that Trevenant can easily handle. And yes, yes. Yes, the fake out is here. Doesn't affect Trevenant. You're burned. Nothing you can do. Get out of here. Th this is amazing. Thank you for the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Even though I made a few mistakes talking, I'm a little sick, guys. I'm on muscle relaxers because I have severe migraines going on. But I'm going to keep battling for you guys and keep trying to make videos even though I'm sick and in pain. I love you all. And until next time, later.